Fans of the internet around the world, welcome back to another Chaos Draft here on Magic the Gathering slash internet. I'll be your host, slash Frank. <clears throat> and let's see what's happening here. Six out of eight players in Le Pepe Peppy Le Cue. What do we got here? Necro Skitter? Okay, okay. Got a Nuklevy. I do like a Nuklevy. Gets a return a red sorcery and a blue instant. If you have those. Voracious. So salty. Thank you so much. Greetings from Germany. Still on my quest for burritos, and also I hear tacos are a thing. <laughs> tacos are also a thing. That is true. What if you were just trolling us this whole time and you're like, yeah, they have burritos everywhere, you friggin' idiot. <clears throat> I'm just going to make you feel like we don't, and then we're going to see how long this lasts. I hate that Wizards made an event of my least favorite format. Wow. What's your least favorite format? Is it Chaos Draft? That's aggressive. I think it's probably Nuklevy. Oh, Goblin Dark Dwellers. That goes well with the Nuckle V. And a Cyclone Sire? What did they take out of this pack? All three Uncommons and the Goblin Dark Dwellers are here. Maybe they took Grasp of Darkness? Here's a Waste in case we get past uh, Thought Knots here. <laughs> in case someone else opened it. I guess, I guess they said that you can't open the same pack twice, right? If you open an Oath of the Gatewatch pack, no one else in the, in the draft did. Robinson Caruso, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> I'm going to take Dark Dwellers. That guy seems pretty good if we get some removal. It's also a, just a 4-4 Menace and Limited, so... I think Cyclone Sire is also good, but... Goblin Dark Dwellers has a little more upside. Cryoclasm? What does this guy do? It's an 11-11 for 8. When it enters the battlefield, return each other creature you control to its owner's hand. If it's, if it's it's eight mana, why do I have to have a downfall as well? Why is there a drawback? Can't is nothing good enough? Look at the top four, put them back in any order. It's probably just Gravedigger. Look at this one. Gravedigger was common, man. Woo! You like Rager over Gravedigger? That's surprising to me. Is Rager just better than Gravedigger? Like, the best part about Gravedigger is that it draws you a card, right? So does this. I think Gravedigger's probably better. You get the selection, right? I'm going to take the Gravedigger. I wasn't sure if that was an old thing that I was just never familiar with, where, like, uh, you know, Phyrexian Rager is valued higher than Gravedigger. Because they both have similar effects. <clears throat> Ooh, hostility? If a spell you control deal damage to an opponent and prevent that damage, create a 3-1 <clears throat> with haste for each one damage. Yeah, we're taking that. Yeah, this deck's looking pretty sweet right now. We could easily splash Gravedigger, but we don't even have to because this doesn't have to be blue, per se. <clears throat> Need to get some burn spells, aka hot farts. <laughs> oh, good times. FTC Star, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Did I say that already? I don't think so. Did I? I thanked someone for a sub, didn't I? Oh, I think Robin Caruso. Robinson Caruso. 
Hmm. Is that the same thing? I don't know. What's going on? I'm confused. Mind rot, scathe zombies, tremor. <clears throat> Whenever a player casts a spell? Oh, God. Get out of town. I'm calling the infantry blocks. So it gets negative one, negative one. Boy, this is when they were like, let's not make the red creatures too good. So, I like Boomerang too, but it's double blue. I think it's actually fine if we're blue-red and we're splashing Gravedigger. I think it's actually the best card in this pack in terms of our options. I don't like that it's white-bordered, but, you know, what are you going to do? Casting Forge Master is pretty okay. Uh, don't care about Senseless Rage. Don't care about... Howl Pack Wolf. I'd rather just have Kessig Forge Master because this is actually pretty difficult to block when it flips. Stallion's good, but I don't know how frequently we're going to have Delirium, so. Uh, chaos draft is every single person in the pa in the draft gets a different pack. <clears throat> so you get three different random packs to open. And you draft with all those different sets. Paradoxical outcome, that's like hot trash. Overchase dragster could be something. Eager construct could be something. Torch gauntlet is probably not anything that we care about. Hmm... Probably Oval Chase Dragster. I can also see taking the Paradoxical Outcome and uh, just bouncing like Gravedigger, Dark Dwellers, Nucklevy and getting infinite value. <clears throat> I like 2-2. Two, two. I like 2-2 two, two for 2. Teleportal. Ooh, that's exciting. I think Teleportal is actually pretty busted. You just get all your creatures unblockable for five. And we can get it back with the Knuckle if we want to play it early. Look at this weird ass chicken monster. I was actually hoping the Riverfall Mimic came back. Of course, we only have one spell that's both blue and red, so maybe I don't care about that. As long as it's red, it gets plus one, plus one, and has fire breathing. Well, it's not going to be white. It still might be the best card. It feels one damage target player or planeswalker. If a spell you can... Well, that's not a spell. Dang, that's annoying. Eh, it's probably just Mimic. Exile target land creature. <laughs> Consuming single deals four damage target player or planeswalker. Nope. Free runner's actually fine. <clears throat> oh boy. I want to take the Denison of the Deep. Sure. It's not 1 2 flyer for 3, and it's not Lightning Elemental. Maybe we'll play this. I doubt it, but maybe. Don't see us ever playing this. Maybe this gets played. Probably never. Do we need Giants? No. Sure. Ironically, our entire sideboard is made of blue and red cards. Look at this. <laughs> Weird ass chicken monster. Look at this thing. With a fish head. This guy's no better. Man, Lorwyn Block was weird. Quest for Ula's Temple. I don't think we care about this. Yep, definitely don't care about that at all. Good lord. Nope, not going to be controlling a planes. Chant a land. Plus one for each mountain. Oh, this pack is hot garbage.
What is this, a leviathan? Oh, a serpent? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <clears throat> Why do you go live during working hours? I didn't reply to this message because I can't find my... <laughs> All right. Well, then. Hmm. This pack is so bad. I think Smoldering Spires might be the best pick, or this Wasp if we're actually playing the the black. Thank you. Oh boy. Mon Prada, thank you so much for the sub, really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Cabal therapy is interesting. I'm not sure if it's good. God, we have no spells that are just dealing damage. We also want a bunch of early stuff to get back with the Dark Dwellers, but we're just not finding anything. We just keep boomering and teleportal. And I really don't like Mental Note. I think Toxic Stench is good. Yeah, Mental Note's basically Thought Scour. Uh, Ringleader attacks each combat if able. 4-4 four, four, for 5. That's actually pretty good. Exile 2 artifacts is pretty okay. Plague Mirror is pretty okay. Geyser is pretty okay. This pack is actually great. Even Vivisection is pretty okay, especially with Knuckle I think it's actually Quicksilver Geyser. Being able to bounce two guys is pretty powerful. <clears throat> Oh, the old Necromancer stockpile. Oh, I actually like Rampage, Rummage, and Goblin a lot here. That's actually pretty sweet. Triplicate Spirits was great in this format, but, you know. We're not drafting that format, so. Two one floaterino. Oh, Matthew Ori, I love these texts, man. I drafted earlier. I only lost my first. I only did my first match, but I did draft two two stone rains. And messing up the opponent's Samana definitely lied to victories. Love it, love it. Winter Flame was actually very very good. Yeah, we're going to take the Winter Flame. Howling Mine. Ooh. I wonder if Levitation's good. Oh, Ponder's good, though. Hmm. I probably like Ponder better. Although I can see Levitation just being a busted uncommon. Mm-hmm. 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 Levitation does feel bombish. Bomb esque, if you will. God, Ponder is so good. <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna risk it for the biscuit. I like Fiery Fall. Um it's very good removal, and also we can search for a swamp if we need one. So that's pretty nice. I just take Ponder. My name is Nicholas. Um, counter target spell supposed to control me draw a card. That's not what we're looking for. Uh, affinity for artifacts. That's not what we're looking for. One one for one. That's not what we're looking for. Eh, it's, it's still a five five. Whatever. Uh, 
You know what? Sure. Uh, mental notes playable, I guess. Mirren Spy. You know what? Your guy. I'll take it. Hammer hand, can't find a hammer hand. Tormenting voice? Eh, actually seems okay. God, there's another pack? What is even going on? Lightning Strike seems very, very good. <clears throat> hmm. Thassa's Emissary was also pretty good, right? Whenever it does combat damage, you draw a card and it's plus three, plus three. That card, that card seems great, too. Hmm. Lightning Strike does go to the face, though. That's a good point. Yeah, we'll just take Lightning Strike. Um, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, Dwellers hit strike and no, so does Nuklevy, so it's actually pretty good. I don't think this pack is very good. That's terrible. Nope. Eh, Cobble Glider is actually not the worst, I guess. This is probably better, right? <laughs> it's the same thing, only, yeah, we'll just take the Coastal Drake. Tide Binder Mage? Striking Sliver? Nope. 4 1 for 3? Nope. It might just be this 2-5. Yeah, whatever. Oh, form of the dragon. We could be having some fun.
I have no idea what to make of this card, or this deck right now. It's very strange. I think we have some very good cards, but... Choose a permanent opponent control, search the player's library for a card. Nope, that's not getting played. Okay. Repeal actually seems great here. Make sure there's no Ogre Svants or Steam Core weirds in this pack. Yeah, I'll just take the repeal. Recast an artifact. I don't care about the 1 3 with float. Whenever you cast a spell. Actually, this guy's not bad with Teleportal, Winter Flame, and Nuclevy. That's not bad. This guy's actually just fine. Cyclone if he's too expensive. Look at this. Wow, this pack looks super weird just because they're all white cards. They're all white bordered. Oh my god. I think it's just Enrage. Enrage can get back with uh, Nuklevy. Uh, no, wait. It's got to be Red Sorcery. Okay, well, that's not great. How many Red Sorceries do we even have? I guess we have Teleportal. Yeah, this pack looks real weird. I'll take the Enrage. I don't think it's unplayable. Look at our sideboard. Our sideboard is actually mono blue and red cards. Wow. Two in a row, huh? Four three that can't block is seems seems actually fine. Oh, one damage. That's a three one as far as I'm concerned. Becomes a color. Yeah, okay, that's just garbage. Uh, okay. What up, BA? I actually don't know what to call you, so I'll just say BA. I'm just gonna take Chartooth Cougar. Maybe playable. Maybe. This is 25 cards. Is Form of the Dragon actually playable? Creature Stop Flying being unable to attack seems almost broken and limited. Um, we can probably cut some of the black cards because we don't really have that efficient of a way to get black mana. We just have a uh, Fiery Fall, really. I think Toxic Stench is fine, but I don't really think we need it, and I don't think we need Jag Wasp. We can just take Grave Digger and... Uh, you know, play it like this. I 
Florida Gators, huh? I mean, I won't mind because you're still you're still supporting a Florida team, so that's pretty okay. I'm gonna add one swamp. We'll go eight eight one. Actually, we'll go nine seven. We don't really have double blue except for levitation and boomerang. Oh, Coswagon. That's pretty funny, buddy. I'm a fan. Alright, let's see if this deck is any anything good. Uh, Gravedigger's pretty good. I always forget to turn the volume down. Yeah, the sand seems pretty okay. Ooh, that was a good draw. Jeez. This curve, though. That curve, though. Oh, the old Forest Walker. Oh, Forest Walker, keep on rolling, Mississippi Moon. Winter Flame's nice because we can get it back with this Goblin Dark Dweller. Uh, I believe he'll be up for a week. That's my guess. That's my guesstimation. I'm waiting for the Kavu. I just want to bounce it. Yeah, flippy, Nick. Flippy. I'm not, gonna, I'm not just going to not play a, a three-mana flyer because I can flip this. I'll much, I'd much sooner play it next turn when I can actually... I wanted to flip. Okay, well, take it easy. Take it easy. It's my flippy and I want it now. We can actually kill this, which I'm kind of I'm kind of It's not cube though, right? So this could be any crappy morph. It doesn't get haste, does it? Oh god, this is gonna be a nightmare. I'm gonna click this back one, and I'm gonna tap the first one, and this. I hope that's not the same one. Okay, we did it. Yeah. Give my land back. The morph is always den protector in cube. <laughs> I'm not so sure that 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 is uh, also true in. No blocks. 
I'm not so afraid of the blue-green morph. How are the voiceovers for the Read Mike anime coming? Oh, not good. Not good. Yeah. I think you're up to keep out of green until you don't until you end your turn you don't lose this mana. Wow, that's that's impressive. Impressive. I'm tempted to basic land cycle here just so we can cast Dark Dwellers next turn, but we'd want to play this first, right? I think we can actually just pass and then next turn Winter Flame. Flippy has been called. Call Flippy. How was the drafts been going? Yesterday we went 3-0 and 2-1, so pretty good. Pretty good. Today we are in our very first game, Michael. The Morph is Exalted Angel. Yeah, probably. What's good in this Chaos Draft? <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. Mike, how'd you do with your modern brew, buddy? Did you crush? I hope you crushed. Hmm. How big do we hope this guy is not? Okay, that was a freebie. <laughs> Oh, that was just gas. Gasoline in the tank. The one the one good thing about cast drafting that I've noticed is that a lot of people don't know what the cards do, so they're like, oh, I didn't know it did that. Because there's so many different sets where you're like, it's not like if you just jam 30 Dominaria drafts, you know every Dominaria card. This is like, you have to know all the cards from all the sets. That's cute. Is this a thing if, if no spells were uh, whatever if if a player casts you oh it's gonna flip dang that makes me sad well you're gonna flip anyway so I might as well winter winter fate fate you uh, tap you shooty you. Goodbye, little man. Ba boom 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 ba boom 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 ba ba boom 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 boom. I feel like we're gonna draw a, a mountain eventually. I really, if we do it, like we just waste our turn doing that. I guess we could repeal this guy. We could let him flip. Kill him with the bird man. I don't know if that works the way you think it works. Actually, it's when they left the battlefield, right? Oh, so if we actually bounce it on their turn, we just literally... Uh, whatever. I want this guy to flip, so we'll bounce it at the end of their turn. Flipping would make me very... What's Nick, what's wrong with you, man? You're being real weird right now. You're acting very strange. Uh, 
I will take two. Now, if we hit a mountain, we can actually just hold. Oh, we did. All right. So now we can actually play Dark Dwellers. Tap you, shoot you, attack for another. Yeah, this deck is pretty sweet. Change the channel for an hour or two. I turned off auto subscription and don't know how to turn it back on again. Well, did you try turning it off and back on again? Yeah, Teleportal seems pretty good, not gonna lie to you guys. If they tap out for their big fat idiot again, I think we're in good shape. Tap out for your big fat idiot. I ain't blank gas until you open a Jace the Mind Sculptor. <laughs> um, you know what? I don't think so. Uh, we actually, it wasn't Legacy Cube that we, we wanted to open a Jace. It was actually like Vintage Master, not Vintage Masters, um, either Anniversary 25 or like Modern Masters 3, whichever one was the one that actually had physical Jaces that you could, that you could open. Not physical Jaces, but like non-phantom Jaces, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Change that channel for an hour or two. I think Iconic Masters also had Jace, didn't it? There were, there were multiple formats recently that had Jace in it, right? Let's look. Jace Mind. Uh, nope, Eternal Masters and Masters 25. So it was probably Masters 25. Prey Upon, huh? Okay. Oh, I guess I don't have to replay this because I only tapped it down. I don't know why I didn't think that was not in play already. I'm not very smart. All right, well, I'm pretty sure this is the game. We could have played around like a Force Spike type card, but... I don't know. I have my doubts. And my doubts were realized. What do they have? They have the four four artifact gargoyle. Do they have anything else that we want to? That we want to artifact kill? I don't even think we know if we have artifact kill. I don't think we do. How many things could we spark jolt? Like none. I don't think. We got a two four, a four four, a two two, a one two. It could be a two three, an o two, and a three two. I don't think they had anything that we care about. Is this guy just better than Crusher's Endicon? Maybe. Actually, 2-1 with First Strike could be better. Oh, old Rummagey. Downtown. Taking one damage, going down to 19, because you can always take one point. 
When you get away in the railway in the city downtown, the damage is much sharper there. You can forget your life total, forget all your cares, and go downtown. Here comes a coastal Drake countered. I uh, it, it they played a syncopate. We're having a good time. If we draw a land, we can go Mimic into Forerunner, which is pretty nice. Land one time. Be a cool land right on my deck. Don't be a dick. Give me a land. Thanks. <laughs> Someone clip it. Make it a little clipper. Got him. Oh, this makes this guy a 3-3, which actually makes it a 4-4. This is 8 damage right here with a teleportal. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And then we can actually get it back with a Dark Dweller. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Play it again, another 4. That's 18. That's 12 right there. Oh, I'm clipping it. Oh, you better believe I'm clipping it, boy. I feel like I gotta deal with that guy. Alright, well, eight you. Next turn we can Dark Dwellers, eight them again. Well, for him anyway. This is actually pretty good because this guy gets unblockable automatically. So. Right? Yeah, it can't be blocked. So we're actually going to target the free runner. Free running, free running. Oh, but I was a dab 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 It involves a parent and root vegetables. Mama's in the kitchen with onions. <laughs> is that is that a real song? No blocks. Three, three. This guy has Manasio. Both these guys have Manasio. I could kill you, then you have to block with all four of them. Still doesn't get the job done. You take two, I guess? <sighs> what do we have? We have Nuclea V and we have Winter Flame, both of which are very, very good here. How can I deal five? We have a lightning strike that could help our cause. We actually kind of have to kill this guy before he gets out of hand, though. So we just go 
one two and one two on here we can only kill one of them and three three and one one on here maybe or three three one 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 two one one and then the board's pretty reasonable Yeah, plus it makes Gravedigger a live draw. I think this is actually fine. Probably should have attacked with this guy too, actually. But then they just have a free block here. They can go 1-2, one, 1-2 two, one, two on here, and then just take 3, but then that's so bad. Yeah, they're going to figure this out. Uh, both these guys are gonna die, so that's fine. I only get to kill one here. What does Scavenge do? Excel this card from your gear, put a number one one counters equal to they get to deal a seven next turn. Yeah, I think we messed up by not attacking with Mimic as well. Seven to scavenge though. If they don't have a seventh land, we're okay. Rummage and Goblin having haste would be amazing. That might be like that would possibly be the best looter ever. Rummager, I guess. I guess it's a rummager if it if you have to discard first, right? Yep, they had the land and they scavenged. So we're basically dead on board. I mean, it, we, we wanted to make Gravedigger a live draw. If we kept this guy on board, we would have still taken seven. Wow, that's really sad. That would have been funny. Oh, wow, we could have actually cast that. If we drew one more card, like, of course, the next card is... Well, no, because then they would just would attack us for seven and kill this, so... Yeah, I don't really think our deck needs anything here. Enrage could be cute, but... Make you all the way. I'll keep this hand. Any red we get Rummaging Goblin, which is pretty nice. Sinister Minister. Oh, that might be better. Uh, Jolt really doesn't do it because Death Touch is 1 2. I mean, we could jolt it and deal the damage to it, but it does not feel ideal. Come on, Mountain. Living the dream. Live in that mountainous dream. Nobody but me. Nobody but me. I'm just a mountain machine. Nobody but me. Don't syncopate my goblino.
Yeah, four mana. They gotta cast something, right? Oh, that that old shit bird. Okay. <sighs> Discard all the things. Ba -da -da. I'm gonna discard teleportal because levitation is basically the same here. Plus, we can get it back with a nuclevy. Discard nuclevy. Ba -da -da. Uh, we can't play Geyser. I don't care about Levitation here. Uh, I think we're just boomeranging this guy to save ourselves some precious life. Plus, getting it in the in the graveyard is better for uh, the Nuklevi, as we've mentioned. Man, this is just a just a back and forth. Land. Dang it, Goblin Forerunner, you friggin' scumbag. <sighs> Do we just get rid of Levitation? Oh, that feels so bad. I want to hit a land so I can Dark Dwellers and Boomerang this guy. And then next turn we can Quicksilver Geyser. And then we can get them both back with Nuklevi. So our plan involves these three cards. But we can play this guy if we don't hit a land. I think it's got to be Levitation. Oh yes, that was perfect. Just gorgeous. It's just Dark Dwellers here, right? I guess we could untap and play Quicksilver Geyser. I'm just worried about the Cinco Pate, to be quite honest. What are we? What are we? What are we more concerned with? I think we're more about. I think we care less about the Quicksilver guy. I guess they're getting countered. Oh, we actually can't get this back with the Nuclevy. Never mind. And they had the Cinco Pate because, of course, they do. Why wouldn't you? Lucky, 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 lucky. See, like, even if they played four to it to to flip this guy during combat, like, they still would have had two mana up to Cinco Pate. So. One thing we could have done, okay, so Nuklevi gets back a red sorcery, so that's going to have to be the teleportal and a blue instant. So we could have actually left Boomerang in there. Uh, we could have Lightning Struck and Goblin Freerunner this guy. Then Lightning Struck again. I guess we still can. Yeah, like next turn playing both of these is just fine. And Nuklevi, even if it gets back a teleport. Actually, no, it's not a red sorcery. Never mind. Dang. So we need a blue instant to go with the teleportal. And unfortunately, they syncopated one, which exiled it. And we used the other with this guy, so... Mm 
You got it. Okay. That seems like a pretty easy discard. Oh, no triple block. Got a little lucky there. We are going to discard you and play a land. All right. <sighs> Yeah, because we have it. We'd have this guy dead if we had the like we'd lightning strike it, and then we have free runner. Yeah, I would definitely go watch Bohemian Rhapsody. That would be sick. We have a little stream chat. And we know one of their cards? No, we don't. We don't know any of their cards. Well, these guys both have Menace, so that's 9 damage, right, eight, 7 damage right there. We'll get it. Knuckly can just get back Teleportal, but Teleportal is lethal on its own. <sighs> renegade. Renegade! Defense of the if you want to throw a creature, sacrifice it and search library for the two creature cards, put those onto the battlefield and shuffle your library. Huh. That seems pretty good. So does that though, I guess. Hmm. All right. Moment of truth. Can teleportal do it? Oh yes, oh yes. You got another thing coming. So now before we get to win, we get to see what they have.
They get two creatures. They have to stop a teleportal. And what is this? What was this bird? Avon something? Megamorph bird. Megamorph. Where are you? Ojitai Interceptor. Okay. Okay. So four to flip. Okay, that's pretty good. So they can't do much else if they flip it. And then we can always block and trade, which seems fine. So they have to get rid of our blocker. They have to flip that guy for four. And they have to... Have these creatures that come down be relevant. I still think we messed up on the turn where we should have... Uh, whenever you cast the Spirit of Arcane Spell, you may tap or untap a target creature. All right, you get to draw one card. They, get, they don't get haste. I mean, 3-3 three, three and a 4-4 four, four flyer are nice, but we have Teleportal. Well, it's not the searching that's taking a while. It's the decision-making, so... Look at that weird mouth, man. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, weird mouth, man. You guys have Killer Queen stuck in my head now. Oh, we win the match. I like it. I like it. What quote are you looking for with mouth, Japoshi? Weird Mouth Man was my nickname in college. Nick, what college did you go to? <laughs> it was a really ironic nickname. I went to WMU. That's Weird Mouth U for those who don't know. Dartmouth, Dartmouth. <laughs> Crying out loud. That's gas. This hand is bad, but it could be good. Any one land in this hand's good. And we are on the draw. Like, we can play this on two, we can play this to get a land. We have the form though. I'm gonna mulligan. Form is pretty rough. I'm gonna keep this guy because of the winter flame. Man, I haven't done a modern Monday in months. Just like Marie Antoinette, Mini, Mini, Zoo, Boo, 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 Just gonna pass here. I might want to cycle this fiery fall, but I don't think we're there yet. Yeah, use that ability, boy. Um, I'm going to surprisingly put this on the bottom. I think we want to hit mountains here. They're going to pump this dude, and if they do it again, we're going to Winter Flame. I don't even do Modern Mondays. I just do Modern Decks whenever they get critiqued. Like, if someone sends in a deck to critique, I do, I do a Modern Deck. That's pretty much the extent of it. Uh, with a 1-1 one, one counter removed. All creatures get negative 1, negative 1. Fascinating. Mommy, wow. I'm a big kid now. 
Well, we can't attack here, otherwise they just do the deed. This guy can actually get out of hand, so we are going to deal two to it. We don't need six drop and seven drop, so I'm probably going to cycle this guy, especially because this is a lot of late game gas. You'll never make it if you miss the next level of plays. That's fair. I... Uh, now we are going to cycle this because I don't really feel like missing our fifth land drop. And it will be a red. And then we will play. We're just going to attack here. If we play this first, they can easily block and then remove the counter to kill the Kessig Forge Master. They can do that anyway, but now we get the two in. So... Really? I guess that's your only option, so never mind. Fascinating. Does Dark Dwellers do anything? Ooh, it gets back Fiery Fall, which kills this dude. And by Firefall, I meant Winter, winter Flame. Winterfell. Uh, tap you, shoot you. Scootin' do 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 do. Our hand is pretty good. Wow, our opponent's deck looks legit. We're so far ahead right now. And our hand is Hostility Repeal 4 4 First Strike Haste Guy. How dare you? Well, that card's annoying. Thankfully, this doesn't have flying, even though it looks like it's flying and it's a spirit. <laughs> Get this. <laughs> Ooh. Bunch of spooky, scary ghosts up in here, boy. So if we attack, we deal six, and they, they take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe 11 if they can pump this twice. I think we're okay. Well, it figures if you only mention that one deck is legit, you're fairy ring towards that. That seems implied, doesn't it? Nature's little treasure. That guy can't attack, but he can, or he can't block, but he can float. He can't block, but he can float. Dootin, dootin, gonna float. If they would have bounced our levitation, yeah, that's what we were afraid of. So you go block here and double block here and then pump this guy? That's probably what you're doing, right? Menace, brah. Menaccio. Um, this is fine, and we're going to actually repeal this guy. That was a good draw. Let me eat your friend. So they lost Echoing Truth, Fester Creep, and we lost Eager Construct and Repeal, but Repeal replaced itself, so that's actually pretty okay. If we hit a land, we can actually still go a little bit. Yeah, we can't do two things, actually. We can play Mace, Mace Tail Histrodon, and if they don't have a second black, then we are just fine. And by second black, I meant third black. You guys know what I'm saying. Whee! 
Oh no! Oh, we've made terrible mistakes. They have a white up. Oh, mistakes have been made, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we had a bad time. I forgot the white. I forgot the white. I forgot the white. Dang it. I forgot about the white. That was pretty bad. I assume this is just going to be a 2-2 two -two for, for 3. What? You had a zombie? Dang. Like, they got to attack for 7 here, right? Oof. Brutal. There's like one little fly in here, and I don't know why. Where's your family, little fly? So I think we just win. Uh, this guy has haste, but we can't actually get through this guy. They they take one, then we take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ugh. Man, my kingdom for a lightning strike here. They have one car. Oh, what? No, that's still not how Menace works. <laughs> that's still not how that works. So if we block here, it like forces them to tap out. If they have a removal spell for this guy, they likely can't kill us, right? Once you throw, actually, if they have a removal spell and they still get to keep three up, they can kill us. But they only have two cards. It's plus one as long as you control an island. It can't be blocked. Sure. Okay, so you're dead. Thank you. TJ, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Got him, got him, we have got him, he has been gotten. 375, god we're so close to 400 subs, unbelievable. I wonder if Spear Hunter's just better than this Zendikon, yeah I think so. Bustin, 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 bustin. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> wow, Caleb has a bustin emote? That's amazing. That is amazing. Yep, mulliganing this hand. Oh, keeping this bad boy, though. This is a nice... This is a nice one. Oh, they went to five on the play? Yeah, I'll keep you on top. Wow, I do remember when... Yeah, but, like, to be fair, 10 of these subs were gifted. Uh, probably by you, no less. So, they might... I might have a significant drop-off at some point. But still, 375, pretty solid. Oh, yeah, definitely keeping that on top. Winter Flame into Dark Dwellers into Winter Flame is pretty good in Limited. I can't wait until my sub expires. Wow. I can't wait until you expire. Got him. We cannot get Fiery Fall back with Knuckleby, which is pretty unfortunate. Interesting.
I guess we could have actually saved ourselves some damage there if we actually tapped this guy and shot this guy, so... Well, that's unfortunate. We are not playing optimally today, unfortunately. Shut up and take my money. One pernicious burn, Buck. <laughs> oh, good times. They didn't do anything? Fascinating. I have three cards, though. I kind of want to wait to just get the Nuck... To, to Nucklevy to get that dude back again. We can't really attack, though, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't feel good about attacking or playing Dark Dweller Stream of Value here. Like, we'll never be able to get Fiery Fall back with Nucklevy, so we want to keep the Winter Flame in the graveyard just to get another... to get a little more value out of it. Alright, that's pretty okay. Even getting one thing here is pretty good. Faw spike. I would cry, dude. Mustin makes me feel good. I'd leave his stream muted and running when I'm teaching classes during the school year. That's actually pretty hilarious. I mean, I, theoretically, that could work, though, because I would be higher in the in the standings so people would see me more. It's really weird that I've streamed so consistently and I have such a high, like, a high fan base. And I also have, uh, like, a lot of subs, I think, proportionally to most Magic streamers. Um, but my viewership is pretty low. I think it's just because I'm competing with Gabby and Kenji and, like, whoever else streams during the day, I think. And, you know, it is what it is, but... God, they have three cards. What could they be now? What can they be knocking at my door? Oh, Gabby only has 98. So that makes me feel better, though. Maybe just magic is not super popular during the day. I want to be real with you guys. No offense to Jeff whatsoever, but I do not know how Jeff has more viewers than I do. That is the most conceited thing I've ever said. Um, and I, I probably won't say anything like it again, but I do feel like I deliver. Um, I don't know. I just, I think Jeff can be kind of like curmudgeonly. Do I just form with the dragon here? Now, I have nothing against Jeff, so let's make that clear. Um, I feel like, how do we lose if we form of the dragon? Who is Jeff? Is that Kenji? <laughs> Gas. That's, that's friggin' amazing. Uh-oh, I lose 12 life here. Well, Echoing Truth is in the graveyard, which is super nice, so... Mm -hmm, fantasy burn 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 yeah we also have winter flame to like to lock a dude down 
Uh, okay, that guy's not doing anything soon. Our guys can still attack. That's pretty good to know. Also, like, no joke, I feel like I do have the most refined overlay out of all the magic streamers. I know that sounds weird, but... Uh, return for that many target permanents up here controls whenever it deals combat damage. Okay, I don't see that. Dr. Funkburger, thanks so much for saying so. I really appreciate that. That kind of stuff means the world, man. That's the best. Okay, so we basically have Winter Flame and Repeal. So I feel like we're pretty locked in here. I mean, unless they actually have a five damage burn spell. Yep, that guy's fine. I don't really want to discard anything here. Keep shooting. Keep on shooting. <laughs> we just play chicken. Oh, That's the sound a turkey would make. It wasn't a very good emulation of a turkey. Uh, so I'd like it if you guys could all st strike that from the record. Yeah, Jimmy and Josh are great. Those guys are super cool. Alright, well, this form of the dragon is going the distance. He's going for speed. If they bounce it, I might cry. Oh god, don't. Please enter. Please enter my message. Thank you. Oh my god. I like have anxiety attacks when like it, when I when I go to hit enter to send my message and then it actually uh, actually confirms the OK box so the, the you get out of the game without sending the message. Thank you for all the YouTube content. I love listening to it on the hour and, and ten minute ride to work. For some reason, I read that as ten hour ride to work every day, and I was like, oh my god, you need to find a new job, buddy. Yeah, if you guys listen to it on you know in the car or at you know while you're at work or whatever, that's super cool. That's why I like to put it up because I think like. I'm going to play these drafts anyway, so I might as well throw them on YouTube. And it's been a nice force, form of, like, uh, you know, supplemental content creation income. So, every little bit helps. This is my fantasy. Yeah. I will play first. Hand seems good. We got two dudes, at least. I listen to it to fall asleep, but I have YouTube Red, so Frank can switch off me. Yeah, I actually do get YouTube Red, Avenue, Red, Red Revenue. Take the guns out and flex them. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. I think stips are great for me, too, because they break up the monotony. Like, I will totally do as many stips as I can. I mean, not only is it a great way for you guys to support um, support the content, but it's, uh, it's also...
pretty it's 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 fun for me because it actually I'm like oh I'm not just gonna take the okay this is enough mountains now thank you it it says it forces me to just not take the best card in the pack I have to actually think about my picks and. Yeah, like theoretically, we might not be flipping this next. This uh, we might not be playing anything next turn, so I think we can wait a turn to flip this. The old arcane sanctum into iron mirror deck, a classic, a classic. What is this fat turd? Four four for four. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose two life if you don't control an ogre. Okay. Well, we did not flip. Any blue or black here is good, I think. But what do I know? Yeah, I remember when we did the Leovold step, and then I remember when I did a step after that, and I did Leovold the same thing. And I, I, I would try to draw 10 cards with the Garrick because I had an Ulamog in play. And no cards went into our hand. And uh, Nick was there. Monk HB. Hat Mike. And that was good times. Who can it be now? We drew so many cards. We didn't draw zero. We drew zero. Oh yes, tall Mike. Tall Mike. Not a mountain. Seven mountains, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I implore you. Soul of Chandelar. Seems pretty broken. Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. Ha! There you are. Oh, Jesus. Having a good time. Do they have a lot of Jolt Ordinary creatures? I saw the, the two, the, the one one mirror. This hand seems very good. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I think my stream has a, a higher than normal concentration of memes, which is very weird. But I love it. It's actually amazing. Like, the amount of people who, who actually play me in a match and say medium fan or small fan is pretty comical. Look, now they get to see an island.
Oh, look, man. Jolt needs to come in for sure. So we're going to pass and flip here, and then next time we can play Taskmaster, Taskmaster, Masker, Master, or Lightning Strike and Free Runner, which is pretty nice. Please block. Punish the island and swamp by making them stay in your hand. Now you don't get to come out. They almost blocked. It would have been great. They would have been glorious. Sacrifice a counter target spell that targets a creature you control. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Playing the 4-3 that can't block against the menace creature is uh, pretty good. It's a not bad. No blocks. Goblin Dark Dollars would have been sick to draw there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we just attack with both. Actually, they just block here, right? That's pretty bad. I'll just attack with you. So this is what? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is lethal if they can't kill a guy. If they tap out for something stupid, it's pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. That should be game. No blocks. And this time we will play around like a force spike. Hope they don't have vapor snag. Teleportal. Wah, 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 That's how teleportal sounds. So Spark Chill killed a, it kills a bunch of dudes, right? It kills the 3 1, it kills the 2 1. Spark Chill actually seems pretty nice. Uh, Although if we play Tremor, it is another card to get back with Nuklevy, but I don't think we care about getting it back. Because we also have cards that are two ones. We have this guy, we have the Riverfall Mimic, Forge Master, Rummaging Golem, Coastal Drake, but I guess that's not going to get with Tremor. Nevertheless. What are we cutting? Maybe Form? Yeah, that seems a little ambitious here. Oh, this hand seems great if we can just hit lands. We've got a two, a three, a six. Two Bernie boys. Two Bernie bros. Eh, that's a thing, I guess.
We are looking for some lands here, guys. Was that a 1-1? One, one? Should have jolted it. Yep, that would have been so much better if we played this pre-combat. Or pre-draw. God. I'm too fast. I'm going to hit the button too fast. It's very sad. That was a great target for a jolt, though. It's okay. We'll pretend we missed one land drop instead of two. Sacrifice another creature, manifest, sure. I'm sure I missed it and you don't have to go over it. I assume a pop up one of your YouTube videos, Jerry Gore, your opinion. Uh, I posted on Facebook. I made a Facebook post about it. Uh, my opinion is that it was a pretty clear-cut case of a narcissistic uh, manipulative charismatic guy I do not think it was genuine I did it first I wanted to give it the benefit of the doubt but then after like reading it a lot like I've probably read it in whole like three times uh, I have no good feelings about it whatsoever So we're really just trying to get to this hostility, I think. Yep, that is a hard card to deal with. And it has first strike, so if we attack with hostility, we just can't actually even kill it. Uh, I don't think if he follows through on donations and paying back stuff, that's the only tangible step. Like the the problem is that that's the bare minimum of what you can do. That's literally that's literally the equivalent of just buying forgiveness, um, and it has no bearing on whether you've changed as a person. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just going to lose both games to this guy. Sure. That is not terrible. If we wait a turn, they're just going to kill another guy, so... Like, we actually have to attack now all the... While the iron is hot, so to speak. The difference is I'm all... Like, here's the thing. And hear me out here. I'm all for giving Alex more chances, right? Like, I am a huge proponent of people changing. I think... You should allow people to change. As someone who I've made mistakes, like I would love to give have have, be, have you know have the opportunity to change. The problem is I'm not asking to change. Um, like okay, so in like past relationships, I've 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 been not great, right? But so like in the the difference is I'm not asking for the uh, the opportunity to change in a different relationship. I'm not like hey, I'm gonna be in this relationship, but I'll change while I'm with you, right? Like that's not the point. Right or that's not the that's not the op the, that's not the um the ideal situation right um so it's the same as like Alex like yeah I, I man do it do it change be a better person that's great but you don't have to do it in the magic community you don't have to do it while playing magic right like feel free to change man knock yourself out I wish you the best I hope you do the problem being that like 
you should be doing it already. Like, I mean, you shouldn't have to wait for, um, you, you shouldn't have to do it within the magic community, right? Like, So the funny thing is they have to block something here, which means they go six. Uh, actually, they just kill this guy and we're dead. So, yeah. Soul of Chandelar is a pretty shitty magic card that doesn't let you actually interact favorably. And uh, unfortunately, you can lose games to it. We could have held this guy back, but it doesn't really do much. They still have first strike here. So I guess we could have bounced this, but I really don't know if that does anything. Because they have two other creatures on the board. So, what are you going to do? So, if we bounce that guy and play Goblin Forerunner, does that change things? Actually, maybe if we teleported without the overload. That's true. It only would have given up one damage. I actually forgot this guy became a 3-3. Three, three. Huh. Yeah, it is what it is. What can you do? Either way, 2-1, not terrible. Thank you guys so much for watching, really appreciate it. I'm not leaving if you're watching on Twitch, but I am going to need to for the Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you like. Uh, check me out on Patreon or Twitch. Both of those things help me out a ton in terms of supporting the content I create. If you guys are just watching this on YouTube, you can definitely support me on Patreon or Twitch. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks so much.